Right, hi. Today I'll be covering displacement maps and how to make a reflection with lettering like this so that the lower reflection actually has the ripples of the water along it like this using a displacement map in Photoshop. So um, to start with, <coughs> um, what you'll have to do is find um, an image of some water. So go ahead and um, find an image of some water reflection. Good place to go is um, stock exchange, sign up for that and get get some a good reflection something some water that we think will make a good reflection. Um okay so I'll just turn these off. Once you've found your water, um it has to be like in a perspective like this so that um the reflection will work um like that. Um now what you have to do is press control shift save S rather to save it as um save it as displacement um photoshop and um put that into a file which you can put your displacement maps in I've got one called displacement maps just call that displacement tutorial just save it as a photoshop document and just click save so now you've got a document called displacement map in a folder um, on your machine. Uh, now what you can do is you can go to press T on your keyboard to get the type tool, invoke the type tool and just go ahead and type anything you like. I'm using a terminator font which you can download from the font, a free font place like that. Put the water where you'd like it, press Control T and just resize it. Make it a bit bigger. <coughs> Um, yeah, and now you can add like um, an inner shadow to it, bevel and emboss. Um, gradient overlay looks quite cool. Just click bevel and emboss, um, put an inner shadow on it just so it looks a bit, a bit more interesting. Um, default settings will be fine for this because we're just covering displacement map. Um, so now I just press Control J to duplicate that. You can just bring it down to. Um, new layer as well to copy that. So with the copy selected, press Control T, right click, press Flip Vertical. Holding down Shift, just drag that down, just drag the box down, so that the letters are um, right next to each other, so it's like a reflection. And hit Enter. Um, now we're going to put the displacement on that copy. So we'll go to Filter, Distort. Uh, displace. Sorry, before you do that, you have to right click that layer and press rasterize type. It'll ask you to rasterize it, so you can just go ahead and press OK anyway. Um, or you can right click and uh, rasterize the layer. Um, so go to distort, displace. Um, 10 and 10 is fine, that's all fine, leave them as they are. Go to the displacement map, which you should have labeled so you can find it open and you can see that the reflection is displaced the texture on there is like the water so it's like a real reflection on there um, which is very cool um, also now what you can do is you can you can turn the gradient overlay off um, and to make it look a lot better just click the circle within a circle which is a, a mask so you add a add layer mask Click the G on the keyboard to get a gradient overlay. I mean, sorry, a gradient um, linear black to white. Black will cover it up and white will reveal it, let it through. So just click below there, holding on shift, click up, and drag. You see that it's it's made the blur part disappear, so it looks like a proper reflection. Um, and it's still got the waves on there. Um, and that's it, that's how the displacement map works. One way of using a displacement map in Photoshop CS4. Um, I hope you learned something.